Hey, y'all. How are we doing? Afro Tech Topia, all kind of low energy. What were y'all eating? Okay, we, we're going to raise the energy just a little bit. Let's just like clap it up just as an exercise. Give it up for yourselves. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Yeah. One more time. How's everybody doing? Yeah. All right, this is better. This is better. This is Afrotectopia. My name is Abita Austin. I'm the founder of the Creator Suite. I'm so happy to be here. It's a complete honor to be in your presence. Um, I love what Adi is doing with Afrotectopia. It's so important. Um, the Creator Suite is an organization that I started. My background is in audio engineering. I started it because Oh, we got an engineer in the back there who's a woman. Um, the Creator Suite is dedicated to supporting women in music production by providing them with access to education, increased visibility, as well as career opportunities. And so when I started almost 15 years ago, I'm getting old. Um, when I started, um, there were no people who looked like me in studios, like maybe one or two, no women. And so, um, you know, when you're starting and you're in you know, your teens or your early 20s, you just put your head down and you get it and you learn and you work. But I'm at the point now where I want to give back, you know what I mean? And um, this uh, giving back concept um, and this love for community um, is something I wanted to honor tonight um, by honoring Toni Morrison. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure all of y'all are familiar with the great literary sage Toni Morrison. Um, what's, let's give it up for Toni Morrison. Let's get some claps going. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was introduced to Toni Morrison probably later in my life, and um, the first book was A Mercy. And I was just like, okay, we got to go back to jazz. We got to go back to, because the language, the way she was bending um, words and prose, it was insane for me. I couldn't even process. Um, but to me, what st stands out the most um, when I read her work and, and just think about her, the body of work that she's produced in her life, she not only wrote, but she edited Malcolm X's autobiography, not Malcolm X, my bad, Muhammad Ali, um, another great you know, um, cultural giant, Angela Davis. Um, she's just a great editor as well as a writer. I just think about the love that she had for us and black women in particular and how she made us visible and centered us. And so this is the spirit that I um, take into the creator suite and um, that I try to take into all the work that I do. So I wanted to present to you this beat cipher that we're gonna bring forth today. I have some amazing producers to the right of me. We have Ink Salonius at my closest right. Let's give it up for Ink Salonius. Amazing producer. She also has bars. All these artists, um, producers are multidisciplinary. We have Kumbaya in the middle, drummer, artist, producer, all that good stuff. Lyricist Kia right next to her. Sanger. Kia got some fans in here. Wait a minute. <laughs> so um, I just want to kick it off by um, throwing out a question like um, preparing for the cipher for Toni Morrison. What? Um, what was your motivation? We can start with Inksaloni, Maloney, since you made eye contact with me first. Um, um, what was your motivation or creative process um, around your love for Queen Tony? Just the way that she uh, worded her pain. Mm. Um, Toni Morrison was a woman that um, she didn't publish her first book until she was about 30. Yeah. And um, leading up to the point where she um, became an editor and a publisher, she um, she struggled a lot. Um, she you know she had two young sons, and she also went through a divorce at the time when she uh, released *The Bluest Eye*, which was her first novel. If I'm if I understand You're right. correctly, yeah. and um, just from understanding her story, um, she was able to give birth to some of the most thought-provoking, um, you know, emotional pieces just out of, out of loneliness. I'm not sure if anyone um, listened to any of her, her um, interviews from you know, the, early, the late 70s and early 80s, um, but I did take some time and I did my research on her and I, I, I watched a lot of her documentaries and interviews. And Toni Morrison uh, was a woman that I really relate to because, you know, as a woman, there's so many, so many peaks and valleys of emotions and thoughts and changes and, and transitions that we go through. And 
um, learning that, you know, she was a woman that went through those things and she went through it with grace. That was something that really inspired me um, to put together my set and be a part of today's event. Toni Morrison was just a woman that, you know, she was just so rich with emotion and she was just so rich in terms of being uh, progressive in terms of how she thought about the progression of women, the progression of black people, just the progression of society, period. Just her, her thought process behind that was just so, so deep and intricate. And it gave birth to some of her greatest works. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, same for me, I feel like uh, I first started out with poetry before I even started making beats. And, you know, through doing like slams and open mics and stuff like that, that's how I got introduced to Tony. Um, and there's one thing that I really, really appreciate about her, more so than her writing, but it's something um, that she embodies in her, when you, when you watch her interviews, or maybe if you've ever spoken to her or seen her, I've never spoken to her, but I'm just saying, um, I feel like it would still be there. Um, but she seems very, like, seems, she has a lot of intent, and it comes out not only in her writing, but just in her speaking, when she's speaking to different people, and I admire that a lot, because she's able to take her time, and that's something me personally, I struggle with. Sometimes I feel like I always gotta, gotta come on, gotta hurry up, time is ticking, gotta get it up, you know? And I learned that being intentful in that way and taking your time shows other people how important you think whatever it is to you is, whatever, whether it's your speaking or a beat or whatever like that. Um, it shows that you, you care. So for me, it was, um, I did a lot of like rewatching her interviews because I've watched several and I you know, took some pieces from them. But ultimately, the amount of intent that she expresses in her writing and just as a person, um, that, that's the main motivation for me, I would say. Um, I think intentionality, that, that piece um, struck with me too, resonated with me as well. Um, I also was introduced to Tony pretty late. I guess technically not late in my life because I'm only 27 years old. So, um, oh, baby. recently, um, in college, so a handful of years ago was when I got to really experience Tony's work, sort of like understanding that I was also a black woman that was an artist. I think prior to that. I experienced her work in a public school system in Chicago where it was like, here's a handful of like lucky black folks that like made it to making good pieces of art. So here's some of that few and far between art. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I think something that, um, something that I value most about Toni and, and the intention that she put into her work was that she was purely focused on, on serving and speaking to the lives and the readership of black people. Amen. Um, she was very intent on what she described as making herself the center and forcing the world to come to, to it to us. Um, and I think that's particularly difficult to do when you're like a black person, uh, like a displaced African at some point in the West or an indigenous person on land that's been colonized or somewhere far between. I think it's, it's, it's very difficult to um, when you're creating work or when you're working or really existing to remember to center blackness in and of itself. I think we are sort of taught to believe that something about that is limiting and that we must serve people outside of, of blackness or incorporate people outside of blackness to be complete. And I believe the opposite is true. I believe blackness is limitless and I think Tony also kind of served that intention throughout her work. So um, I thought that was really important. Awesome. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I present to you a cipher for Queen Tony. Who's going first? The moment we put the value on us, mm -hmm. the moment we say, we're enough, mm -hmm. we're enough, we're valuable, 
that's when we change the story. But as long as we feel like white water tastes better, we're still going to be in this position. Yeah. The moment we put the value on us, the moment we say we're enough, we're enough, we're enough.
I've been working since I was 12 years old. I got the, got the floppy yeah. dish. I got the floppy. Yeah. 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 Straight old school. Thick. Come on. 
Mike Salonius. Why don't we take this time to tell him what you're working with? Your mic's over there, yonder. Oh. <laughs> so, while we wait for this to load up, I'm working with the MPC 2000 XL, which is pretty much the, um, the staple of music production. And I have the, the zip disc. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go, y'all. Light up this red velvet jungle to 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 light
issues I happen to be most interested in has to do with the nature of oppression and how people survive it or don't. Walking down the 
down the street one day If you see me walking down the street one day Don't say nothing to me No, no, nothing You did me wrong when I was doing bad So bad I didn't think I could make it Now that I'm alone, I'm feeling free Freer than a butterfly Flying high now, right now, baby But I'm doing better uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. If you see me Walk on by, baby Don't say nothing Walk on by, baby Do yourself a favor And walk on by, baby Don't say nothing Walk on by, yeah, yeah, yeah This one I was inspired a little more lyrically um, by Tony in regards to identification, self-value, and what that means to me at least. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Listen. I want my group, show me where, where, where. What if my name was Uvu, where, where, where? And I was popping, making snares barehanded. Owners of land stand here and here. Back, back, I want to hear your heels clack, clack. I'm black, black, and keep a fat sack to relax on impact. That syntax, nigga. I've been that nigga with the wand like a wizard. Sitting like shiver, about to cut you off by the sliver. Your dirt is exhausting my river. Damn. Tell Jay, I'm Beyonce. Everything is strong. Jay, Andre, where do I begin? To? Who wanna move with percenters? Who got a pool full of tools just to bruise up my innards and do it for chicken dinners? Yeah. You the fat that's sitting on my liver might snap like a picture for the huh. Two, three, four, bread. Two, three, four, huh. Two, three, four, bread. Two, three, huh. Two, three, four, bread. Two, three, four, huh. Two, three, four, bread. Two, three, say, huh. Two, Two, three, four, bread, two, three, four, hook, two, three, four, bread, two, three, hook, two, three, four, bread, two, three, four, hook, two, three, four, bread, two. Stones on my perimeter to keep my energy shielded from the creeps. Real speech, suck my blood like what the leech. Uh, hop a fence with the sheep, won't hear a bow peep. A certified leech, a smoke till I'm sleep. A box my stress like it's a cheesecake. Then slip into a room, get my shit in tune. I got 62 moons the way I need space, man. Wildin' like indigenous islands. I bet a hundred thousand and a couple cow skins. I'm bouncing. Boom, shaka laka. I feel my womb when the moon hit my chakras. Peace to Sebi, it's a beddy like I'm crocker. ODing from bottom, feeding like a lobster. I got to swat your ass like special ops. Yo, get lost, cause my sauce come with pasta. School you like hofstra for the huh. Two, three, four, bread, two, three, four, huh. Two, three, four, bread, two, three, huh. Two, three, four, bread, two, three, four, hook, two, three, four, bread, two, three, hook, two, three, four, bread, two, three, four, hook, two, three, four, bread, two, three, hook, two, three, four, bread, two, three, four, hook, two, three, four, bread, two, three, say. I ain't got no rap that's crazy like that today, but. I, I, I can take it beats. out on a, on an upbeat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
No, can we give it up for Ink Salonius? <laughs> and Kia? <laughs> a little more sauce on it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much, that was incredible. Um, where can we find y'all? Ink Salonius, where do we find this magic? You can find me at the Department of Education. Wait a minute, talk about it, talk about it. <laughs> During the day, uh, I am an elementary school teacher. I teach kindergarten through sixth grade. And on the weekends, I make beats. And I'm also developing a, um, an arts enrichment program for elementary school kids. It's awesome. Thanks. Yes. But, but give us a, uh, uh, at something. Give us a handle. Oh, you can, you can find me on Instagram. I mean, I don't post often, but, you know, you can follow me there. I-N-C-K-S-A. It's a long name. I-N-C-K-S-A-L-O-N-I. U.S. Thanks. on Instagram. And if you're a DOE worker, hey, I'll see y'all <laughs> in September. <laughs> <laughs> Kumbaya, yeah, how about you? Um, real quick, do the kids know you make these? Uh, Some of them do. Not they all. do? Not no. all. Okay. I try not to tell them too much. Why? Because then they be like, yo, Miss Lee got, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Oh, they got rhymes, yeah, they I got, got raps. Yeah, uh, some of the fifth graders be like, yo, Miss Lee got, I got bars, check this out. Yo, uh, uh, d -d -d Oh, they can't get no extra credit, uh, like, you can't put nah, a little. Put, put your brain in the book. Damn, That's it. she tough, I don't want to be in your class. Yeah, That's I'm crazy. Uh, well, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, I haven't spread out to all the other platforms yet, but Instagram, K-U-M-B-A-Y-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A, because it's like 11 A's. I counted. I was say that that 11. It's 11. Yeah. Shout out to people. Some people know. They come up to me and they tell me. They're like, I got it. It's 11. Like, you would never miss me. You would never miss me. But um, Instagram for now. Instagram is cool. What about your band? Yep. My band. So that's the thing. Okay. So here's what happened, right? What so happened? So see. Oh. All right. Wow. So like, so my band is actually just like my friends, and we just jump in and out of each other's like sets, you know. So we're not like we haven't solidified. We haven't even talked about name. We're just so busy making music that we don't even talk. We barely even talk to each other. We're just like, let's get on the stage, you know. Let's go, you know. But. Um, I'll make it a big deal on my Instagram when we have like a final solidified band. But um, I often perform like with live musicians, and they're just they're just my really close friends, and we just we just help each other out. So well, I'll work on that. Okay, Thank okay. you for putting me on the spot. <laughs> the band I don't have yet. <laughs> Kia. Hey y'all. Um, I am also on Instagram. Um, I'm on other socials too, Facebook. Um, and Twitter, um, but Instagram is probably where I'm the most active. Um, you can find me at K-E-I-Y-A-A, -A. just two A's. <laughs> nah, just not 11. 11. Not 11 Not A's. 11, that is someone else. K-E-I-Y-A-A. -A. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you all for thank listening. You. Thank and you. Um, the Creator Suite, you can find us at at the Creator Suite on Instagram and most other platforms. Thank you so much. <laughs>